but you can split this up into small little tiny bite-sized pieces and if you've watched what i've been doing and you think that four handles is hard you haven't been watching enough of my videos you haven't been watching enough of my executions four handles is nothing like four handles that can happen in less than five minutes two minutes like in in some instances on one one minute candle it can do five handles because I'm taking you into the time when the market's likely to move like that. Aiming for a direction or a bias that's attacking a pool of liquidity or aiming for an inefficiency. You're not looking at indicators, you're looking at shit that repeats over and over again. So you could be taking that $250,000 uh, account and parlaying that up to $7,500 a month. Doing, you know, around 80 some thousand dollars a year. Not doing very much to do it. It's all about how you understand what repeats. I'm showing you these small little movements intraday because when you look at all the social media stuff, they all show you these big, massive runs in price that they just got lucky with. I'm showing you week after week, day after day, 100 handle moves, 50 handle moves, 30 handle moves. And I'm talking to you right now about four handles. That's one less than the five handle model that my son uses. Four handles, folks. That's easy. That's so easy. It's insane. And you can do just one to one gearing and it's done. You're trying to make 3% per month on $250,000. What happens if you do that same thing each month with that same $250,000 account and you let 3% compound over and over and over again? You're making six figures. You're not over leveraging ever. You're never going to blow the account. You're never going to wreck yourself. And you're never aiming for something that's too hard or anxiety inducing. 6% per month doubles your account size, no matter how you slice it. No matter what you start with, at the end of the entire year, if you compound 6% every single month, it's a 100% return. You have a million dollar account that you funded with? Okay aim for six percent oh but ICT oh I see these shit okay it's this math and sticking to the same multiplier what's the multiplier how do you get those four points I know what you're thinking like okay this sounds all easy now just tell us how do we get those four handles how do we get those four points what have I been showing you aim for something what's it reaching for a pool of liquidity bias has nothing to do with it where is it at right now Turn your charts on at 10 o'clock tomorrow. You're not trading. This is going to be a preview for you know, the, the next week. You do not turn your charts on until 10 o'clock in the morning, New York local time. Find the most recent five or 15 minute high or low. What's the market done since the opening? And then aim for that. See which side's been ran out initially if they've taken out the lows and it's been run up and it's created a short-term high and it's retraced it's chances are it's going to do what run that whole that high that just made if it offers four handles then you execute in your not your demo in your observance of watching price you're going to tape read that well, what am i looking for a fair value gap on a one minute chart it will be there that's the wonderful thing that you're going to discover because all this stuff repeats on all these time frames. You, you watch me do a uh, 10 second trade on NASDAQ today. And yeah, it, it repeats over and over again on all time frames because price is price. And price is not really referring to the things I'm showing you in charts. That's the language that I've used to bridge your understanding and what you don't and won't know about the algorithm. 
to. There's a difference between people that will say with harmonic bullshit, okay, and retail logic splattered all over their chart and say that's what the banks use. This is the algorithm. No, that's that's not. That's retail bullshit. And that's why it's failing you and you're blowing out publicly. And I'm showing every single day precision at work. Now, you don't have to like me, okay? We don't have to be friends at the end of this year, okay? But give me the opportunity to make you into a fucking beast, okay? I don't give a shit what you think about me as a person. I don't give a shit if you like my personality. I don't think that even matters, okay? But I am so ready. I am so ready to transform all of you. But you have to be here. You have to show up. And you have to engage and you have to study and you have to look at the shit and forget all the other shit you think you know. Put it all down. You'll believe me, I guarantee you, you will see right away there's something totally different. Totally different when we're watching real time price action. Because it's going to be a plain, simple chart. And you're going to watch these candles paint. And they're going to communicate with one another. They're going to react to one another. And they're going to live and breathe and move across the chart in a way that's going to make perfect sense after several months of doing it you're going to know exactly what it's doing without me saying it and when you start hearing me say exactly what you're thinking you understand exactly how to read the tape you have been at, at that moment learned a skill set that i can't write down in a book i can't make a video for you because that's what you want. You want these five minute trainers. Learn ICT concepts in five fucking minutes. Man, seriously. You can't. My shit's been out there since last year. Okay. I want to see these individuals that are saying they can do it in five minutes. And these five minute video trainers. Go out and trade it live. Go out there on Twitter like I'm doing. Call the level it's going to be traded to next. And then record yourself doing a precision entry with a stop loss and targets being filled. Stop making five minute bullshit. Okay. You can't learn this in five minutes. I can't compress three decades into fucking a year. <laughs> I couldn't do it. It took several years to get it this far. It's just so it's deep. It's very, very deep. And you can go really, really, really far with your learning with this and become a you know a freak with it, like I am. Like it's to me, it's it's amazing. I love it. But you don't need to be like this to make money. You can just do what I sh you know, showed you last year, and that's it. That's beautiful. You can make all kinds of money with that. But what repeats every single day that these folks that will tell you don't have a don't have a goal. Don't have a fucking goal. Don't have a percentage return because math doesn't matter. And the logic they use in trading is flawed. So it makes perfect sense. They'll argue and say, oh, they're going to show you a spreadsheet and they're going to pull up a calculator and they're going to do this and gonna do that. But. They're not going to be able to do it because this, that, and the other thing. Now, bullshit. I'm already showing you. I'm bringing the receipts that I can read this shit real time on any fucking time frame. Any time frame. I showed you with the daily chart. I showed you with the weekly chart. I showed you with the four-hour chart, the hourly chart, the 15-minute chart, the five-minute chart, the one-minute chart, the fucking second charts. Ten seconds now, folks. Ten fucking seconds. Do I got to do it with one-second charts? Because I'll fucking do it next week, too. And you still will see doubters. Because they can't do it. Fuck them. They don't matter. They don't matter. They cannot hold you back. But you're going to let them. Some of you will let that bullshit creep into your head. And you will ignore the fucking evidence that I'm proving. And showing. And giving you a testimony every single fucking day. Here it is. It's right here again. Here it is. Here it is. Take your attention to this chart. Look at that counter there. It's going to go here. It's going to go there. You have to have a target. You have to. If you have no target, how the fuck can you measure your progress? Are you hitting the mark every single time you aim for it? How can you realistically gauge progress and development? You're going to be spinning your wheels, which is exactly why this fucking industry has break even to blow out. 9% club. First three months, that's exactly what happens. How many times have you seen me get it wrong? <laughs> yeah, how about that? I'm publicly doing it. I'm pointing to it. I'm calling it. I'm recording myself doing it. How the fuck can I cherry pick it? I've already co-signed where it's going. 
You know where I'm aiming for. You know the logic I use for trades. My trades are one-sided. If you can paint the direction on both sides, that's not high probability I wouldn't be in that fucking move. So you take that logic of knowing what we're looking for. The multiplier is your setup, your model. The thing that you trade over and over again, you don't give a shit about anybody else's pattern. You don't care what ICT's fucking trading. You don't know what anybody else in the community is doing. You don't give two shits what they're doing. You found your setup, your model. What, what does that look like? Well, I just showed you one the other day. I gave you a breaker that I thought was going to be you know, something I can watch and see it melt down. If it would have broke through, then I would have used a fair value gap and I would have done something with that trade. But I, I told you to wait. Wait to the open and what? And 15 minutes. And in that time period waiting, I saw what I was looking for wasn't going to pan out. And if I have a time limit or a filter on saying I can't engage at 930, I got to wait. I can't get in ahead of 930. I have to wait. Why? Pal. And we are two days away from CPI. And it's treated much like what? Non-farm payroll. So you have to be very, very diligent about keeping your, your level of frequency and trade and engagement limited. Be very, very selective on what you're trying to do. Because these market conditions you watch today is generally what you see coming into CPI. Big money starts sitting still. And the algorithm will paint sideways, run small little shallow runs above highs and lows intraday, and just look aimless like euro dollar. It's still doing something. Two, three, four, five handle, you know, pit moves. But that's not what I want to be trading. Can I go in there and do that just to prove it to you? Yes. But I want to teach you the right way of looking at a market that's really moving. That's where I'm taking your attention. And I've been there for months. That's index futures right now. And Forex might get crazy again. And if it does, I'll migrate right back over to Forex. But right now, mm -mm, the risk is too high for what it's giving out. No, thank you. So if you're looking at a pattern like I was explaining, if I'm looking at something in the chart that might lend to a breakdown, but it's not doing it, if it's resisting it, then it's it's going to be a fade for me. And I'll immediately override that waiting 15 minutes and buy it and accumulate my position in that breaker that would otherwise be what? A, a premium array that I would go short on. If it's rejecting that, it's saying, no, I'm not doing that then I have to do what? I have to concede and say, okay, I was wrong in my analysis by having that on my chart. And then I have to do what? Either make the decision to do nothing, stand on the sidelines or reverse. So that's what I did. I went in, I built up and accumulated a long position inside that breaker, showed you the balance price range. My stop loss was not going to be affected by it. And I trust me, my ego loves the fact that you're all astounded by that. But I have so much other shit that you're going to see this year that it's going to make that look like nothing. Okay, that's nothing. You're entertained by that. And that to me is fucking crazy because I am going to show you shit that Tony Stark's going to wish he fucking had his hands on. Nobody, nobody has the shit that I'm bringing this year. And I'm going to dazzle your ass. And it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be, like I said, my victory lap. And I'm going to be waving as I go out in December. All the receipts will be there and you'll have all the experience walking with it. You saw me reach for a target. Simple little fib projections and time. That's all that was. And I was one quarter of a point, one tick off the high. And that pisses me off because <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to nail the actual high. And I was off by one tick and then it collapsed and went back down into uh, take out the low, which I said was the balance price range, which you're probably wondering, OK, how did I know it was a balance price range that later on became a range that could have been taken out? Everything I just outlined, if it looks like a sell, 
and it's setting up a cell and it's rejecting it, then it's going to do one of two things. Go consolidation, which I didn't see that happening. Because why? Pal, the effect of him talking. Traders are going to be reading into that bullshit. I don't even know what the hell this guy says. I don't ever care what he's saying. I don't care. I don't ever read those fundamental data. I don't read any reports. I could give two shits about what they'd say. I don't care about that stuff. Because price is going to tell me everything. Because price is manipulating the minds and influencing all the decisions in every trader around the world that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. And that's how I was able to look at something. I was ready to do something. And I was like, nope, that's not happening. Reverse is going up. And then, boom, there it was. Went back into the new week app opening. I said, I want to take 10 off there. You saw me do that. And at that high of the gap, I took something off there. And as it ran up, it had a nice expansion on the upside through that gap opening on Sunday's opening. I took another portion off and then you watched me run right into the target. Only off by one tick. Folks, that's not luck. That's not luck. That's logic. It's not rooted on any horse shit out there. Nothing. John Murphy don't have it in his books. Everybody else out there talking horse shit. Nothing. Nothing. It's a simple understanding of time and price. And understanding market sentiment. You'll learn about that this year. I'm going to be talking about it every single day. I'm going to be talking about where retail will see the marketplace and where those instances are where retail is arm wrestling smart money. We are looking for those points right then and there. That's when our high probability setups are occurring. That's your multiplier. That's your pattern. That's the thing that you're going to do every single time you go in there and look for a trade. That's what you hunt. If it's not there, guess what you're doing? Nothing. And you're not going to regret it. You're not going to feel anxious. You're not going to fear missing out on something because who gives a shit someone's trading a breaker over there? Who gives a shit they're over there trading an institutional order flow entry drill over there? Who cares if they're trading in a market maker buy model when you're, you're, you're selling short, you're looking to sell short? Who gives a shit? That's not your trade. That's not your trade. That's equivalent to seeing somebody else's significant other and saying, wow. I like to get a hold of that. But you're married to somebody else. You can't do that. I mean, I guess you could do it and get yourself in trouble. But the point is, is in trading, you don't want to do that. You cannot do that. You got to stick to what you are married to. And that's your model. That's your market. That's your multiplier. The thing that you're going to do over and over and over again. And that is going to be multiplied with the heavy lifting of money management. Because if you're aiming for 3% or 10% or 6%, that's a static return that you're aiming for every single month. Your risk need not be high to meet these thresholds in terms of returns. Not even 1%. How about uh, three quarters of 1%? Hmm. What if you risk 0.75, which is less than 1% risk. And nobody writes books about this shit. Nobody makes videos on YouTube about this stuff. Nobody makes courses. They don't teach their shit with this logic. Okay. But if you're going to have the advantage of having funded account balances, which you really don't have, but they're going to offer you that. And you're able to take money out. Like you see my students all around the world doing now. I promise you, they're still trading way beyond where they should. Because they want these big windfall victories. You don't want that. Not when you first start out. You don't. As much as you want to believe you want it. You don't want that. You want this shit to be steady, eddy, easy money. Something that's easy to do over and over and over again. You're not trying to flip your fucking account. You're trying to take money out of it. Every single opportunity that you can take the money out and they allow you to do a payout. You do it. 